Well, this is, in essence, a political question. So in the end, governments will decide. But by looking at the first five years and looking now at the Nairobi meeting, it has increased steadily over the years. More and more people are coming to the meetings. It is as vibrant as it was right at the beginning, even more so. Uh, I think the issues it addresses are not issues that can be solved easily. It's sometimes a question of balance. It's finding new forms of dealing with questions, for instance, digital content, copyright, regime was established long before the internet was set up, it's based on national borders. The internet doesn't recognize national borders, so we obviously need to seek to reconcile the two, find for new forms. And these are not easy issues, but these are issues that are passionately debated, and I don't think they'll be solved by 2015. So there will, and there will be new issues coming up, which need to be debated in this open, multi-stakeholder model. And it is important that everybody participates in this question. It is important to hear young voices, people like you, come to these meetings and make your concerns heard. In traditional intergovernmental organizations, there's no way for you to participate. So my answer would be yes, we will still need the IGF after 2015, but it will be governments who decide in the end whether they like multi-stakeholder cooperation or whether they want to retreat again behind their walls and discuss things among governments only. My hope is that they will continue with the agenda.